Welcome back, Aztec Nation, to another episode of the Sons of Montezuma podcast. It's a Kiss the Rings episode. It is Final Four week. It's Mateo San Diego, and I am joined with my two co-hosts. You cannot stop him. You can only hope to contain this man, the man, the myth, the legend, Fiend Stradamus. What's going on, Fiend? What's going on, guys? Final Four is almost here. Yes, it is. And the sandwich aficionado, the Lego champion himself. He is a Justin Timberlake fan. Michael. What's going on, Mike Tortola? What's up, man? You seem to have been dropped from the basketball aficionado for Lego champion, which is okay. I like Lego. <laughs> Good to see you guys before you guys head out. It is Thursday, and we are within a matter of days of the Final Four beginning. The Aztecs going against FAU. The What are they called? The Owls, guys? Are they the Owls? The Owls, yeah. Not F-A-U. even the Fighting Owls, just the Owls. <laughs> the Screaming Owls. <laughs> of fau all right i know it's been a a a long week it's it's, these next few days are going to feel like forever i know we're all still watching highlights and re-watching the game and just all the all the content all the interviews the the celebration at viejas the the incoming of the team the watching the team leave on their way to the plane fiend you and i are making the trip to houston we are going down what do they call houston is that does it got a name like i I don't know what's the H Town, H Town. We got to mix in some uh, knocking the boots H Town music in here. What's up, little ghetto boys? <laughs> ghetto boys for sure. Yes, my mom's playing tricks on me. Yeah. So last second travel plans left us with little choice for flights. So the ones that we could afford uh, are we're flying out tomorrow night, heading to Vegas. Um, Eight about nine o'clock, we'll be landing about ten, and then we're gonna be spend a night out in Vegas with a a five a.m. flight to Houston, and land in Houston sometime about nine o'clock, looking like zombies, <laughs> and then we we have no idea from there because check ins probably not gonna be till three o'clock in the afternoon. So I I don't know. It's gonna be a wild wild couple of days here. What are you guys gonna do for eight hours in there, I, dude? I was stuck in Vegas airport for eight hours. Last week on my way to San Antonio, uh, and it was it was. Uh, but what are you guys gonna do? Are you gonna? Go I mean, we're not gonna be in the we're not gonna be in the airport for seven oh. eight hours. We're going out into Vegas. I don't know. Okay. Maybe we'll catch a, the Purple Rain show again. I don't know. <laughs> oh, why not, dude? That would be fun. Yeah, I mean, you might as well. So you were stuck in Vegas, not by choice, though, right? No, they had wind shears, and like, like, like. So I landed, and and all the it's tough to get to Midland, Texas you know anywhere and it just they it, all the 70 or 80 flights were canceled so i was stuck there i got caught up on the mandalorian and andor and praying that doesn't happen to us yeah um, you know, it, can, it cannot happen to us dude that's wild you guys are savages bro you guys are gonna have a, a great time man that'll be fun land we- air sea i mean by any means possible you know planes trains automobiles yeah John whatever Kennedy. it takes yeah <laughs> yeah dude that'll be fun man Okay, so if you are making the trip, I know it's a it's an expensive trip. It's a fun trip. It's going to be an Aztec Nation takeover of Houston. I put together the five things that you as an Aztecs fan need to see and experience and are going to want to see and experience there in Houston. The five things that you as an Aztecs fan want to make sure that you see, do, you know, experience there at the Final Four. People don't understand, man. This is like the Super Bowl. This is like the Super Bowl of college basketball. So it's just going to be filled. The whole city is going to be taken over with these four teams, the final four teams that are going to be there. Five on my list is absolutely the fan fest there at the site of the NRG Stadium. So, well, it's actually not at NRG Stadium. It's at the convention center, the George R. Brown Convention Center. It's on Friday and it goes all the way to the April 3rd. Um, it's usually from 12 noon to 8 p.m. most days. There's interactive games, special celebrity and athlete appearances. You have autograph signings. And uh, kids are free under 12. If you have a ticket to the game, you actually get it for free. Otherwise, you could buy online like eight bucks, 10 bucks, something like that. So, that's going to be massive because it's all day, every day pretty much every day of the final four so that's kind of like the big hub right the big fan fest every day it's pretty pretty cool i want to check that out i would say number four is going to be on friday as well there's going to be 
uh, Aztecs SDSU, the official is putting together like a Friday night party, social beer garden. And it's from 5.30 to 7.30, Aztecs fans. So, you know, uh, if you're getting in Friday, you definitely want to go check that out. I looked at the venue online. I mean, the pictures do do it justice. It's pretty big. It's got some outdoor spaces, some fun and games. They got, like, you know, hammocks all over the place and just, I mean, everything you want to uh, have that first night little little party going on and, and get to get to touch base with all the Aztecs fans. So that, that should be really cool. It's pretty central so uh, to where everything's at as well. We've uh, got to have, we have to find a hoop and have a game of Sons of Money horse, either <laughs> between you and I, or we get the rest of the crew and we do like a knockout tournament or something, man. Some horse, man. Okay. All right. Three. What did I have for number three? Gosh, darn it. I got, I got my number three. All right. All right. There's this whole debate about in and out and Whataburger. Whataburger and Whataburger's from Texas. <laughs> I've got to try Whataburger, man. So that's like going to be my number three okay. thing to do. I the have, Whataburger I have challenge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. I was just there and I talked. Everybody from Texas loves Whataburger. Everybody not from Texas thinks it sucks. I know. <laughs> I, I, I hear that. But like, I need to experience that for myself, Mikey. I haven't tried it because I'm concerned. Like, I just I haven't found the time. And I was like, all right, I got a guy in Dallas. I know I'm like, I'm going to go with you. And I'm gonna try it with you, but I, I, yeah, not everybody. I don't know. Everybody in Texas loves it. They say it's better at two a.m. than it so is. I better. would love to have an In and Out <laughs> close to a water burger, and then be able to do the challenge, like blind taste test, to figure out which one is the champion. I like that. But I, like I that. definitely, I definitely want to get some Texas barbecue, man. I've been on this Jenny Craig diet for like way too long, man. I'm ready to <laughs> blow that thing, and I'm not worried about calories all weekend. Those of you listeners, send us uh, send us in the comments section. Give us your uh, barbecue spot there in Houston that we should be checking out. For those of you who have been there, we definitely want to know. That's the that's the mission: Waterburger and barbecue. All right, number two. My number two is definitely going to be that Friday night as well, because from five thirty to seven thirty, like I told you, we're going to be meeting up there at the uh social beer garden but afterwards so sons of montezuma were planning to have a little after party somewhere somewhere close so i'm i'm torn between a couple different spots but we're definitely going to have a little a little meetup a little after party you know sons of montezuma style so really uh yeah i think that should be nice things should be fun that's number two the number one thing i think you should definitely do the friday open practice session at nrg stadium it's completely free for the community for all the city and basically the gates open at 10 a.m they're at the stadium and uh they la- they listed the order of teams so 11 a.m fau has their open practice at 12 p.m sdsu 1 p.m miami and 2 uconn and then afterwards is the nbc all-star game and i think that's probably when they have you know all the different uh i don't know if it's probably dunk contests and different contests fiend you were you were excited to see but 12 noon that's when the Aztecs take the court and do their open practice it's just like is that just seems like it's going to be awesome because it's just an open open showcasing of all the teams you know hopefully a lot of the show make it right I mean they said that there's 700 students I think they gave tickets to and they're chartering flights show alumni raised I think over four thousand dollars for the show for their awesome. accommodations and it was well over what their target was so they're going to be living large in Houston, which is awesome, man. It's going to, yeah, they're going to definitely show out. And there's going to be so many Aztec fans here. I'm, I'm hearing rumors. I don't know. I, it's not verified, but I'm hearing rumors that like we have bought way more packages than like all the other fan bases. And it's, it's just, it's going to be an Aztec, like Aztec East, you know, party there. So, you know, hopefully that is the, the second vacation home. We already have one in Vegas. Hopefully we get another one in Houston. I like what uh, the hologram Andy's text me earlier this week. He said the Aztecs, T-E-X. 
to take over as tech's takeover. Okay, so that. those are my top five things, but honorable mention, definitely want to mention there are music fests going all weekend. So basically, you can sign up. Uh, I encourage everybody to download the app, the official Final Four app. It's really helpful. It's got maps, you know, getting around the town, getting around the public transit, all the timings, everything, parking schedules, everything. I mean, it's a really easy to use app. You can even look up information on each team, all the stats, the rosters, like it's it's a really really good app you could check out these music fests i got tickets for sunday because it's like uh I, I, who who's there i know it's a country it's a country day and uh i think tim mcgraw is gonna be performing dude i want to check that out man i dig some country so you're in texas houston let's do it tim mcgraw and keith urban that's hey, awesome man. man i'm gonna have to check that out yeah. absolutely absolutely i know uh who else Me meg the stallion she's from houston she's there friday night and then I think Lil Nas X is Saturday, and then the Country Day uh, is on Sunday. And then the other, uh, the other honorable mention is the official Aztec pregame party. That's right before the game. It's from two to four. It's, it's it, you know if you got the the packages, it's all included with through SDSU. But if not, I think it runs about uh, a buck seventy five, and that covers all your food and drinks. And that's like the official pregame party. So we'll have to we'll have to see about that. We'll have to see about that. All right, guys. Mike, how you feeling, man? You still want to go now? Like I said, man, it's tough to leave my little girl behind. She's just, and I want you know. I was thinking about it. Like, I, how cool would it be to be with her if, if, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, she, along, man. she's into it. She's like, Daddy, are you doing a podcast? You ever had on? Are you doing a podcast, Daddy? <laughs> so I was like, yeah. So, but yeah, no. I mean, you guys, dude. I like, I like Houston, man. You guys are having so much fun, dude. It's gonna be so much, so much, so much stuff going on, dude. It's gonna be awesome, dude. But truth be told, man, I would probably much rather be in San Diego with my friends, with the loved ones, with the crew, watching it at establishment. I've had such a great time at Ale Smith and McGregor's. I mean, dude, the environment is insane. Watching it there, surrounded with Aztecs fans there, and yeah. and I love that. You know what I mean? Uh, you get to watch the game, the commentators. You get the energy, all the feel of it. But, you know, it's just one of those things. I, I It's like, I, I, it's, who knows when it's going to happen again. So I'm going to put myself out there. Yeah, man. I I, I, I totally disagree with you on that, man. You <laughs> The experience, everything about that. There's going to be former players there. We might see the Fab Five, you know, supporting Dutcher. You have no idea who's going to show up. Kawhi might show up. Kawhi's I mean, he missed the up. game tonight. There's people, are, you know, speculating that it might be a load management you know for the next couple of days <laughs> so who knows i mean you know i i mean i i'm not, not going to miss this opportunity we have no idea if the Aztecs will ever get to the final four again you know and if i don't do this then i feel like i'm going to be kicking myself no offense mike no i get it i get it bro i i gotta do this you have to if they cut down the nets in houston that would be freaking so amazing. It'd be I mean, not only would you be just going nuts, Mike, where you're at, but us who are there, like it's, I can't, I, I can't even imagine. Can't even imagine what that's like. Let's just worry about Florida Atlantic. <laughs> One game exactly. at a time, Mikey. One exactly. game at a time. They're, they're like, dude, they're, I mean, they're, they're like the other teams we face, man. They're like a better Charleston and Furman, like with the three point shooting and the depth and stuff like that. They're, I mean, they won 35 games, man. They're nothing to be scoffed at. <laughs>